So I'm on my way out from Puebla. It was great hanging out with Elizabeth. It's my very good looking mula. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so in order to leave uh, Cholula, I have to take the metrobus and then take a bus to the bus station because the, the bus station is in Puebla, not in Cholula. So I have to go to Puebla first. And the bus station is called Capu. But it's really simple. They also have a metro bus and pretty much I get off here and then I take another bus that takes me to Capo, which is the bus station. Okay, so this is the bus station for the interstate buses. It's called Capo. Since this is uh, a nine hour trip, they're gonna let us down to it for 40 minutes. Okay, so since I didn't plan this well, I had to rent a hotel room in Villahermosa. So yeah, what happened was that I was gonna go ahead and rent a car, but then the bus took longer than, it was supposed to take eight hours and it took like nine hours. So I wasn't able to get the car, because I was just gonna come from, I was just gonna come here on the bus, rent the car and then go to uh, Palenque, Chiapas, but I couldn't do that. So now I'm here, that's cool, I'll be here for one night and then tomorrow I'll rent the car and then go to Chiapas. Here's the plan, you guys. So, I am in Villa Hermosa, and the plan is to rent a car and drive all around Chiapas and then come back to Villa Hermosa. I was thinking three days, but maybe now two days because I missed yesterday. So, I'm gonna go try and see if they have any rental cars, and then rent the car and then just go down south. This weather sucks for balls. So I've been trying to catch a taxi and they're, they don't want to take me, so I'm just going to take the bus and it's going to be so much cheaper too. Turkey. Those turkeys are alive. You want some fresh turkey? There you go. Well, we finally have the car, so now the plan is to move down to Chiapas. Which is gonna be a long ride. I think it's like around six hours. I think I'm gonna go to Tuxla, and then from there I'm gonna go to different places. So I'll go to Tux Tuxla right now. And I don't even know how much gas that's gonna, that's gonna take, how far it is, but I have a map, so that's all that counts. That's all. I, that's all that I need, actually. The car's pretty nice. It's like Hyundai. Or I mean, a Hyundai uh, Intrigue or something. It's pretty nice. It's pretty big too. So pretty much the, the reason I rented a car was because I'm gonna sleep in the car and I'm gonna ride all over Chiapas. So according to me that's gonna be cheaper than actually doing hotels, hostels and bus rides. So we'll find out if this is cheaper. So this is why sometimes uh, it's kind of expensive to actually drive places and it's cheaper to take the bus because you have to pay tolls almost anywhere anytime you get out of the city you have to pay a toll so once you add it up it's really expensive and you might as well when you add the gas and the tolls it's actually cheaper just to take the bus but uh, i still think we might be able to uh, make it affordable just by renting the car because today i'm gonna go to three different towns by the end of the night so which I think will be impossible if I was taking a bus. Bro, holy shit, man. 
Well, anyways, we're almost there. Palenque. Uh, I'll probably stay here tonight, or I'll, I might keep going to uh, San Cristobal de las Casas. I don't know, it depends. Because there's some, there's cool stuff to see, but I think it's getting too dark for that. So, but we'll see. So we have a burger king. Actually, looking for being a small town, they have a lot of things here. Oh, this is Palenque. Small little town there. It's very, very touristy. So touristy. <laughs> so there's the plaza, and here's the church. I think all the nice things to do are outside of the town. So today is day one of sleeping in the car. And actually there's this really sweet hostel over there. Like really sweet. It's called Yakskin. But um, it was full. I actually look, and it's cheap, it's like 140 pesos. And I was looking forward to it, but then he was like, oh, we're full. I was like, damn it. So I'm just gonna sleep outside. <laughs> so here's what we'll do. I'll just go in this one. And then just get back there. Goes all the way back. <laughs> 